the Man Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin and I gotta tell you, this weather is crazy. It was just about 100 degrees out here. We got a cloud moved over. It's raining so it's cooled it off really nice. Yeah, got a little water drip right there because of the wind blowing water down through that one little opening to the roof. Anyway, okay, let's get this intro out of the way. Today I'm gonna make some uh, pork rind nachos with pulled pork, cheese, jalapenos, and you know what? The best thing about making nachos is you can make them however you like. That's right, make them any way you want. Uh, my pit boss was on, it went off. I'm gonna start it here in a minute. The power went out for a second. I will get this cook going. We will get the nachos going. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you how I put these pork rind nachos together. So let's get in there. And uh, actually, before I go in there, I'm gonna go do something I haven't done in a long time. So just come with me. Okay, and here's what I haven't done in a long time. Stickers. Uh, power came back on. I got the pit boss going again. And crazy weather just thundered right before I hit the play button. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Haven't done stickers in a long time. And obviously, uh, I've had a few sent to me. And this is one that's a... Uh, I know all of you know this one. You know, the worst part about these stickers is trying to get the backing off of them. <laughs> That's why I like my magnet. Anyway, guess who Guess who this is? Uncle Steve Shake. You should all know who he is by now. He makes some awesome rubs. I gotta tell you, that new uh, sauce with no name, my favorite. I ordered a few more bottles of it. So we're gonna stick old Uncle Steve right here. Okay, Uncle Steve Shake has made the uh, Beer Fridge Hall of Fame. Okay, another one. My old lady's cooking channel. Kenny sent me this with Kenny and Barb. Uh, man, she does some awesome cooks. So uh, Kenny, thank you for sending me the sticker. If you haven't seen my old lady's cooking channel, you need to go check it out. Talk about some amazing food. I mean, food, she bakes, she does everything. She grills. It's it's. It'll make your mouth water <laughs> if I can get the uh, backing off of it. Okay. Thanks for sending that to me, Kenny. Kenny and Barb, you got an awesome channel. You're going on the Beer Fridge Hall of Fame. We'll stick you guys right there. Okay. Next up, Cajun R New Barbecue. Bones over there at Cajun R New Barbecue. He sent me his sticker. Uh, he's got a pretty good, cool little logo there. If you haven't seen Bones' channel yet, he's cooking all the time. He even bartends. <laughs> Bones, we're going to put you, let's stick you right there. Okay. Now, the next one, it's a little smaller one, the Bearded Italian. Brian, thank you for sending me this. Brian just changed his logo, got these cool uh, cool stickers. Now, Brian's been following me for a long time. And Brian, uh, you know, he cooks and he didn't have any videos. And finally, he started his channel up. He had some videos on his channel, but they were, you know, riding his motorcycle and stuff around the house. He had, uh, I think, one little cook on there. But anyway, he started cooking and he cooks up a storm. He's got a Blackstone, he has the Pit Boss. He cooks just about everything. Okay, Brian, thanks for sending that. If you haven't seen Brian's channel, go check him out, The Bearded Italian. Okay, Brian, where do you, let's, let's put your little guy right in there, Brian. All right. And last but not least, the meat stick. I gotta put a meat stick uh, sticker up on my uh, Beer Fridge Hall of Fame. If you don't have a meat stick, if you're looking for a wireless thermometer, check out the meat stick there is a link in the description below and i'm going to put i mean game changer especially if you do rotisserie cooks all right we're going to put the meat stick right here all right there we go haven't done a sticker video in a while if you want a sticker email me kevin at man kitchen recipes and uh send your address and we'll get one sent off to you all right okay let's get this uh pork rind Nachos with pulled pork, 
jalapenos, cheese, pico de gallo. Let's get this thing built and get it on that pit boss before the power goes out again. Oh, yeah, before we go, here we go. Here's some of the stickers that I have on here. All right, all great channels. You should definitely check them out. And uh, let's get this going. Okay, didn't I tell you this weather is crazy? Look, totally sunny. Cloudy that way. It's cloudy out there. I don't think you can really see it. It's too, uh, the white is too bright. <laughs> anyway, crazy weather. We're back in business. The pit boss is uh, back on and heating up, so we're just about ready. Okay, I'm starting with a bag of just regular uh, pork rinds. No flavor to them. I'm just going to add some cheese. I like regular shredded. My, my wife likes this uh, nacho cheese sauce. I'm going to put some of that on for her as well. And then after the nacho cheese sauce is all on there nice and good, I'm going to start putting the jalapenos down. And these are pickled jalapenos. This batch, this jar, they're on the hot side, so they're really good. I'm going to put a good amount of jalapenos on here. And then, of course, after this, we're going to put the pulled pork. <laughs> okay, let's bring a little more cheese, and here's the pulled pork. This pulled pork was actually some pulled baby back ribs that I made. And if you've never made baby back ribs specifically to have pulled pork, you got to try it. I don't have a video yet, but maybe I will. Now let's take them outside. All right, what, what about those? They're not just for a little snack. These are almost a meal. All right, so here they are. That's my pork rinds with pulled pork, nachos, we got jalapenos. And the best thing about nachos is you can build nachos however you want. You can put on them whatever you want. If you're making them at home, you can put ground beef, whatever, chicken, and you can even do them in your oven. You could even just toss these if you have them on a regular plate in a microwave. But I want that smoky flavor. I got my uh, smoked pulled pork. I had some leftover. It's actually pulled uh baby back ribs that i made a while ago and uh anyway i'm gonna get these into the tailgater heat them up and enjoy them my tailgater heated up just to 225 because i want to get a lot of that smoky flavor i still have a little bit of uh wine country barbecue wine infused pellets i thought that would make some good smoky flavor for this pork and cheese so i'm just going to set these in here close the lid and i'll check them after about I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, make sure they're doing okay. Just want to get some of that cheese melted, this cheese here. All right, we'll be back. About, I think it's been about 15 minutes or so. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo. That's a lot of smoke coming off of there, huh? Cheese is doing okay. I'm gonna let it roll. It doesn't quite look melty enough for me. Now that I've let it go for about 15 minutes, I think I'm gonna crank it up to 250 let's go 300 just heat these up so we can enjoy them we got smoke i turned it up to 300 about uh 10 minutes ago i think that's going to do it for us they look like they're warmed up look at that now let's go put some pico on there give them a try right. went in put some pico de gallo on top what do you think of that huh that looks absolutely delicious. But will it taste delicious? <laughs> ah, I don't even know where to dig in at. I'll have to get, uh, well, I'm gonna get one with jalapeno, pork, pico, everything on it. Look at that. All right, here we go. Yeah, hmm, hmm. That is very interesting. They're really good, actually. Man, I'll take another bite. Hmm, hmm. That bite had a big pizza pulled pork on it but hey pulled pork on pork rinds man you can't beat that throw some uh, jalapenos some cheese mmm 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 I guess I better go inside and share this with my wife <laughs> alright man 
There you go. Pork rinds with pulled pork, jalapenos, cheese, pico de gallo. That's what I like. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to come back and show you some more videos.